Hey, pretty valley family, time for a weekly pastor's note. So I was standing doing some dishes the other day and I noticed a little clay model that one of the family members had sculpted at some point. I think it might have been Liesl, in fact. I was reminded that a passage of scripture in the Old Testament where it speaks about the fact that we are like clay, uh, that the potter, our father, is busy shaping into something beautiful and something useful and significant. I reflected on the fact that we are sometimes really hard on ourselves. I think we're very self-critical about our own faith journey. In fact, if I had to ask each of you uh, on a scale of 0 to 10, of 0 terrible, 10 amazing, where would you put yourself on your faith journey? I think most of us would put ourselves somewhere around about halfway. Uh, I don't think we celebrate the growth that we have all experienced in our lives enough. I don't think we acknowledge enough that God has actually done some pretty good work in our lives. Yes, long way to go. We're far from, protect, from, from perfection. There's absolutely no doubt about that, uh, but the reality is we have all grown. And in fact, if you reflect back on your own faith journey, you will see that you have grown. You have changed. Your character has been refined. God has done some amazing sculpting in your life already. And I think we need to celebrate that and not be so hard on ourselves. So I want to encourage you today to pause for a moment and just thank God for the good work that he is doing in your life. There's that, that lovely passage of scripture that says, God will bring to completion the good work that he has started in us. And so God is going to continue to fashion us into something beautiful. Of course, the finished product will be in heaven one day. But in the meantime, we just thank him uh, for the fact that he is loving us. He is working with us. He is working in us. And he is working through us. You are a work of art uh, that is in the making. So a couple of notices, forgive me for repeating this. We've said both over the last few weeks. So just to put up with this repeat notice, so one is Alpha starts next Tuesday. We have four people signed up at the moment. On Friday, we're going to make a call whether we're going to continue with Alpha course or not. So that really just gives you three days to reach out to your neighbors, reach out to your friends, reach out to your family members and invite them to attend Alpha. Alpha is a great course that offers people the opportunity to ask questions around faith, to explore what it is to be a Christ follower, who is this Jesus and what he is he about. My observation through the years is the people who attend Alpha most of the time attend because someone invited them. So please, 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 please uh, reflect for a moment who it is that you could invite to come and join us for Alpha. It starts next Tuesday, runs for 11 weeks, and it's a very non-threatening, very welcoming, warm, hospitable space for people to explore a relationship with Jesus. And then our Easter services, the Sunday is Palm Sunday. Bishop Jeff Quinlan will be preaching. Next Thursday uh, is our Tenebrae service, 7 o'clock. Easter Friday, Good Friday, will be a 9 o'clock service. And then, of course, Easter Sunday, our normal 8 and 10 service. But of course, those are family services. So bring your kids along. And we're going to celebrate the fact that Christ has risen. He has risen indeed. It's a very heart and soul of our faith journey. And in fact, after Easter weekend, we're going to explore together how profoundly significant and important the resurrection of Jesus is. And so join us in the coming weeks as we unpack that together. Blessings, family. We share things every day, things that are meaningful to us, that entertain, inspire, or challenge us. We share moments, good or bad big or small. Because what we share matters, we have the chance to share something incredible, the hope that has transformed our lives. And today, more than ever, people are searching for hope, for connection, for meaning. The life we've experienced in Jesus is available to our friends and neighbors, and it's easier to share than we might think. Over the next few weeks, we're running Alpha, an opportunity to share Jesus with friends, family, and colleagues, in person or online. Each week on Alpha, you'll connect with each other, watch a short video, and have time to discuss thoughts and questions without needing to have all the answers. All it takes is a simple invitation. Share life, faith, hope, Jesus. Who will you invite?